that's just birth. So yeah, that's what they look like or whatever. <laughs> back to the channel so I'm back with another video everybody freaking loves when I get these goddess dress now um, I had these when I went to Maui and a couple of the pictures that I posted um, I'll insert them right here a couple of the pictures that I have posted these pictures went viral like y'all just like really loved me with these Yes, honey. Um, I had went on vacation. I just got back actually this morning and um, I have them. And the reason why I really like to get these when I'm on vacay is because you can get in the water with them. You could like, you you don't, you could just wake up and your hair is just like cute. You know what I'm saying? When I was in Maui because I just wanted to be, you know, that little island girl, you know what I'm saying? Tropical, tropical seasons, tropical times. Um, but anyways, this is the finishing look. They took about um, three hours this time. Um, but last time, the first time I got them, I got them way thicker than this. Um, and I had more like twist in them. This time I got less twist. It's a lot more thinner and I could like put it up in a bun and stuff like that. Um, and it's really lightweight. The last time it took almost eight hours to get them done. Y'all keep asking and asking how I get these twists, so I decided to link up with my girl Karen and show y'all exactly how it's done. You can follow me on Hair by Karen Kingdom. So today I'm going to show you how to do the goddess box. I'm going to show you what hair I use and the supplies as well. You need clips, okay? Hair ties, a comb, and moisturizer of your choice. And last but not least, nail glue. You're gonna need hair, and I can't tell you what kind of hair. That's our secret. You gotta, go, find out. You gotta okay. come over here to get it done. Oh, also I did my lives. Y'all like them? I love. Aren't they cute? Yeah. We're going to part a section and get started. I'm gonna put this in a bun, move all this beautiful hair out the way. So right now, we took a small section. You don't want the part to be neat at all. And then as far as the box part, you want more of an oval. A triangle is fine, or a messy part is even better, but it's up to you, honestly. So we're gonna take her hair and this weave. We're going to just braid. And while you're braiding, it's best not to do this part tight. And I'll tell you why at the end. You're just gonna braid it. You see, you still have room to move it. Because when we take the other hair, it's gonna make it tight, but not too tight. And if you don't know how to braid, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to braid one day. Not sure when. Yeah, and like I said, you do not, I repeat, do not want the braid to be tight. And these are the braids. They're really loose. And now it's time to wrap. Take the short end, place it here. You're going to wrap it around. Going to just wrap all the way 
down to wherever you want to stop. I'm really fast, y'all. For some years. <laughs> Another piece. So now we're gonna put it in fast speed for the rest of the video. Properly glue the ends, y'all. Don't put too much because you don't want it to be white. So this is why I use nail glue. <laughs> this is the reason why, guys. the back done, the braids that I did. And this is how your ends look. That's a no-no. You have to do some cutting. You're just gonna remove the kinky hair. Just gonna cut it. Make sure the glue is dry before you cut. Fresh boys on the track. 